So this is called cast. This horse decided to roll right next to the wall and now got himself stuck. So I'm gonna give him a moment, see if he can get himself unstuck. And if he can't, I will put a rope around his legs and just flip him over. But I had a feeling he was gonna do this as soon as he laid down. You think, buddy, can you do it? Can you fix yourself? I think if you just push hard enough, you can flip yourself back over. I've had to unstick many horses like this. Again, I'm just giving him the opportunity to fix it himself. Aha, good job, buddy. Now don't do that again. That was silly. Go roll somewhere else. Well, now that that's over with and we can all breathe, Let's talk about it. If you're new here, my name is Brandy, and these are my dogs. This is Aspen, that's Hickory, and Cinder is over here. And this channel is all about my real life experience with horses. I've had horses my entire life, and I've seen a lot of things happen, and I think that there's a lot of situations that people don't really consider with horses. So I'm here to bring awareness to all of that. In this particular scenario, the horse was brought into the arena and turned loose and it didn't take him but a few seconds to walk straight over to that sandy spot by the wall, lay down, roll, and he was stuck. Now, he was down for a total of a minute and 27 seconds. I started recording almost immediately, so everything you see is everything that happened. The biggest thing I want to stress is when people see a horse get into a situation like that is they immediately want to rush in and save them. And I feel like it's best to assess the situation, stay calm, and just watch and kind of wait it out a little bit and see if the horse is able to help himself. If you encounter a horse that is cast against a wall or a fence or a shelter or something, the biggest thing to really think about first is do not get in the way of flying feet. Like I said, a lot of people want to rush in, and I think that that's when most people and horses are going to get hurt because if the person is panicking and then runs up there to save a horse that's panicking, it's only going to make the situation worse. So the best thing you can do is just relax and try to be calm and assess the situation and then proceed. I am convinced that horses spend the better part of their life searching for ways to die. And with that being said, as a, as a trainer, as a horse owner, as an instructor, I spend a lot of time preparing horses for things that could go wrong, okay? So I'm always hoping for the best, but I plan for the worst. So what I mean by that is my horses are all taught to stand tied, to be patient, um, and then a lot of different areas. So I put them in different situations so they can learn to be patient regardless of where they're at. Um, I also spend a lot of time getting my horse used to things being around their legs. So I do a lot of rope work with my horses. If you're not familiar with what I mean by rope work, I would seek out a professional and get help so you can learn how to do that stuff. I am not by any means somebody that is um, a roper. I, I am not handy with a rope. I'm very uncoordinated and clumsy, but I do try to get myself as familiar with handling a rope as possible so I can help my horses with this sort of stuff. If your horse gets stuck in this kind of a situation, the last thing you want is for them to have never felt a rope around their leg and now suddenly they're in a situation where they're panicking and then now they've got a rope around their leg and then they're panicking more about that. I have a lot of peace of mind from knowing that my horses are used to these things. So when I go to put a rope around their leg and there's a little bit of pressure on it, they don't panic. They're thinking, this is familiar to me, I don't need to worry about this, and I'm not adding more fuel to the, the fire that's already existing. So basically, if I needed to 
get involved in this situation with this horse, if he wasn't able to correct himself, I would have put from a distance, I would have gotten ropes around his front legs and hind legs. So the last thing I want to do is get too close there when there's feet flying everywhere. But I would have gotten ropes around those front and hind legs and would have given a big heave ho to just roll him over. And then he would have been able to get up just fine. Laying down for long periods of time is not something that horses are designed to do. So if they become cast, say, in a stall overnight and they're like that for hours, it can do a lot of internal or internal damage simply because of the weight of their body. They're not meant to be like that. Horses are meant to, you know, lay down for short periods of time and then they stand up to sleep. I've had so many situations where I've had to rescue horses that are, were cast in some manner or another. So I'll share a few of those with you just so you can get an idea of the, the things that horses can get themselves into. So for instance, years ago, I used to have pea gravel in my stalls. And Muffin, my lesson pony, she absolutely loved rolling in pea gravel. So she would go into these stalls and the first thing she'd do is she'd drop and she'd be rolling around just thinking it's the best thing ever. Well, you know, my stalls are about 12 by 12 or so, she'd flip over. If she was right in the middle, it was fine because she's relatively small. But if she got close to a wall, she'd flip herself and end up cast against the stall. And she was usually able to correct herself without an issue, but it happens so often. And now I don't use my stalls for horses staying in overnight necessarily. You know, that's that's not something that happens often. My stalls are pretty much used for horses just to go in when we're waiting for the vet, or if the horse has something going on later, we put them in a stall, they can sit there and eat, or we feed them in the stall. So that's another thing that happens. So when horses stay in stalls on a regular basis or overnight, a good thing to have is just a little strip of wood a few feet off the ground all the way around the stall, because then it's kind of like a little, I don't want to call it a kick plate, but um, it's something that they can grip onto. So as you saw in the video, that horse was trying desperately to like, you know, get some traction on something and he couldn't because it was a solid wall and had banners on there, which was slippery. So, but if a horse can get some traction, they're able to flip themselves back over. So you'll see that in some stalls and some barns where they have just that little ledge that goes all the way around the bottom. That's what it's for. Another scenario was my Colt Manzer when he was about seven months old. And there's a video in his playlist about this. But I found him, I just randomly went out in the pasture one day just to check on him. I do that all the time. I'm always out looking at the horses and just making sure that everybody's okay and not, you know, stuck on something or whatever. So Manzer had rolled, but he rolled into the shelter, just the, the wall of the shelter and the end of it. So he had his front legs and his head and everything tucked up against the wall, but his hind legs were were loose and laying out. So he couldn't push off with his front legs because they were all tucked up and his hind legs were just out in the open. So he did get himself, he managed to, to push with his front, with his knees actually, he kind of shoved himself away and was able to get out of that situation. But I was on my way to go get a rope so I could rescue him and he corrected himself in the time that I was gone. Another situation I had is a client called me one time and her horse was in a stall and these stalls had like little half doors. So the whole bottom was open and he had laid down in the stall and just got his, basically got his whole hind end underneath the door. And so in that situation, he wasn't cast, but he was, he was stuck. He could not get up because he was under the door. So we managed to, there was a few of us, we managed to get some ropes around him and kind of pull him back into the stall and then he was able to to get some traction and get back up again and then I had this horse here for a few months and he was in court when he came here I always put horses in quarantine at first because I want to make sure that they're not going to spread anything to other horses so I have to make sure they're healthy and my quarantine pen at the time was just a round pen and there was soft sand in there and this horse every single day for for at least five days, this horse laid down against the side and rolled himself into the ro into the round pen panels. And then he'd get his legs caught in there. And in this situation, it's like, I didn't have anywhere else to put him <laughs> where he could be safe, but he did it every day. And a lot of times, you know, they learn not to do that. And so, you know, like the video that you saw, 
it was good for that horse to have to get himself out of that situation because maybe next time he won't go and roll in that spot again and or he'll know how to get himself out of it easier. But this particular horse that kept getting stuck in the round pen, I swear he would just lay there and wait for me to come and rescue him. And I eventually ended up moving him because it was so stressful for me to keep him in an area where I was always worried about him getting stuck. Because like I said, if, if they're down for an extended period of time, it's really bad for their organs and everything else. So just part of the process. And then I also had a horse one time, Annabelle, my lesson horse, she, um, she wasn't cast, but she went and rolled in a ditch and got herself stuck on her back. <laughs> so, and I watched the whole thing happen. Um, and it was in the middle of winter. So it was just like a little ditch and then there's deep snow everywhere. So she, she was like a turtle on their back. So she laid down and rolled, got herself in this ditch, and then it was just kind of upside down, kicking her legs up, trying to figure out how to get out. And she managed to wiggle around enough where she could flip herself back over. But horses get themselves in these situations. You can do everything in the world to try to have the safest place possible for your horses, and they're going to find a way <laughs> to get themselves in a predicament. So the best thing that we can do is educate ourselves, make sure that our horses have all the necessary training to at least keep them from panicking in a situation so we can help them and stay calm. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that in some way it can help somebody someday. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.